Oh, I didn't do my hair this morning. Yeah. S E M D E N J E S S E E M D E N. And Jesse, um, give me your official uh, ranking title when you retired. <laughs> Your service, if you don't mind. I was an EO1 in the United States Navy Seabees. So I was a heavy equipment operator. Wow. And um, an EO1, what would that like classify as? Like, a I was a heavy equipment operator. So I operated heavy equipment in the construction battalion. Excellent. One in Iraq, one in Afghanistan. Uh, I was active duty. I did a Westpac all over the world. So, yep. How many years were you um, uh, serving our country? 20 years. Thank you. Sam. Good. It's nice to be able to, I guess, do stuff for other veterans and stuff in need and just, we help each other out. You yep. I was actually here hanging fire extinguishers when I saw it and then I talked to her about what she was doing here and I liked it and I knew that we could do something about it. So that's when I offered to help and yeah, hopefully it'll turn out nice when we're done. So that's what I do for a living and this was a new job for me so I didn't know what I was walking into. I just was coming to hang fire extinguishers and tag them as my job does. But then and stuff, it's like I want to do more on my own. Serve. Definitely. Yep, they definitely need all the help they can get. I, see it. I hope it makes them feel at home that they can do more and, you know, get out of the road, I guess. <laughs> he needed to get it done. They got it designed. Everything, all in a matter of a week, I think, actually. First. Yep, shouldn't take too long, and then they'll have something to remember everything by. I know you're... Grab this shot, and then I'm going to get the eye doctor challenge with you, but I'm not going to blow a puff of smoke into your eyes, I promise. It's, you know that? <laughs> sometimes people like to hear that, so they're not like, oh. I'll do a nice shot from here, and I'm going to do another eye doctor. Just keep looking lovingly down at that picture. I told you I know it's a little weird, but it's totally so, worth it. Yeah. <laughs> in your service. I know you're like this. Is, uh, this is where I wish you know, Stephen. All these shots at once. Otherwise, I have to be like, okay, I gotta recreate them all. It a little bit. And you're all probably like, I don't normally fall into the, <laughs> you know, fire, but. But I just love that this was so. I mean, there, there, the word for that this was gonna be kind of the the entry oh. one. And now, now your heart's really full, it sounds like. <laughs> yep.
Yep. Still pretty wet. You help each other out. I mean, the military helps each other out. Sometimes you get others to help out, but we take care of our own. Getting there. The finishing touches finally being put on this special project, all helping our heroes be their own heroes. Unwrapping the final touches on this special project, all helping heroes be their own heroes. <laughs> Of the puzzle. Yeah. Did you eat all your pineapple? Because I definitely want to go. <laughs> if you want some, there's plenty there. <laughs> I got a good, good about a quick trip. I was like, oh, it was delicious. Nice. I didn't have to eat my lunch. She picked me up Subway. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to turn down a free lunch. Definitely. Well, they're going to be so proud when they just walk in. <laughs> and just take $50. Wow. wow. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. Well, you very guys, welcome. That's awesome. All right. See Thank what you a Jimmy. strange meeting in a gas station. Gas <laughs> station. I was out riding in the wintertime. Right. In a snowstorm. Yeah. And I was like yeah. with Major and a yeah. few other people. Yeah. And he probably thought I was crazy because I walked up to him and his <laughs> motorcycles. Would you mind doing the pass over of the, the, the envelope? Oh, okay. uh, Brotherhood and the motorcycle club is everything. If you don't have this to us. Number one, being from Madison, we see a lot of homeless veterans. And my idea of wanting to help and wanting to do something, something is simply 
as long as there's one homeless veteran out there, we're never done. Exactly. Yep. We're never done. It's and since COVID and everything hit, it's been so hard because a lot of our funders. It, it makes you feel good, I guess, to do something good for people, something positive for somebody that served in the military and gave us the rights we have yeah. and allowed us to keep the rights we have. I think sometimes... Too bad because I appreciate everything they've done. I, yes, I think no. we need to do more because that person would be willing to give their life for us at, at a, to go through this and jump through these hopes and do that and this and all that other kind and of stuff. Sleeping oh, no. yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Sleeping and sleeping on tents. Yeah. Yeah. Sleeping on And that's our active... In that our, that we're doing do that. that. All around Madison? Yeah. yeah. Kind of like out here on the corner getting what I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think this is a great place. A it's great just place. Absolutely. And help them out. Hardest question I'm going to ask, will you be so kind to say and spell your name if you don't mind? So Rio. R-I-O. And then um, what's your last name? Rio. 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 <laughs> and yes. Kelly, breathe. Think of something that makes you angry. Baby daddy. No. All of this is such a cute. Like ridiculous picture in front of the army. No. I'm just kidding. Seventy nine now. My dad will be 80 and he's... Get the whole shot. <laughs> okay. Oops. There we go. Okay, we have to put the lamps together. We're going to put in here. Um, so the lockers. We need um, the med boxes. Med boxes with the locks. Um, these need coat hangers and storage bins. There's from Francis State Street. Got the laundry. TVs. Um... But I'm thinking a nightstand. But I think there we need these type of desks. That would require that. Yeah. Put them together. Um, but if I order them today, they can be here. Those are spiffy. You have the grays. You have the navies. Um, and like I said, we'll put that well, up and that against... that matches the bookshelf. Correct. Donated DVDs that were donated. We'll swap, um, we'll swap those out and it could be mounted to that wall. So if we swap these two around, yep. we could add a desk here. Correct. So then we could secure this to the Um, Bathrooms are almost done. Um, grab bars are, grab bars are in. Um, the only thing we're missing is the doorstep. Well, we need to twi- Private room. In here. I would definitely put it in there. Yeah. And more bookshelves. So this has a queen size bed. Um, I think we could bring another nightstand over and put yeah. it. But someone might like to see their exit. But.